Hi, this is Juri. In this video, I'm going to speak about how to combine function application and function composition. For the compilation, I will use this make file in which we could recognize several compositions. After the dependencies, we can execute the commands of the rule. And these are examples of different sequential compositions where the words, the contexts are slightly different. We know what is composition when we are making a new function out of two other functions, but usually we are not indicating the function application explicitly. To be explicit, we have to know something well. So let's see what is a function application. In GHCI, we can get info about operators, including the dollar operator, which is called a function application operator. In this case, we have a function from A to B and a value of type A and it will produce a value of type b by applying the function to a value. So when we are using it as an infix operator, the expression on its right is used as a parameter to the function on its left. Important to note that the function application by space is left associative and has the strongest precedence, whereas the dollar operator has the weakest precedence and it is right associative. We know that we could place parentheses here because of the right binding. It makes more readable that it takes a function from A to B and produces a function with the same signature as its result. So it is really similar to some kind of identity where A is this function. When we look at like this, dollar operator is equivalent to a plain function call. Composition is a little more elaborated to express that we can go from A to C when we are going from A to B and then from B to C. So we can go from B to C after we arrive from A. If you do not want to use GHCI, we could use Google instead. Here we could learn more about functions and we could see their implementations also. Ok, let's run the make with this wrapper which triggers the first rule of the make file every time when our Haskell source files are changing. The output that we could see comes from the main function or main action. It is basically a test which shows that all the calculated elements of the list are the same from the user's point of view. To make the list accessible in this file, we are importing a module that we could see on the left side. After the name of the module, we could see its export list that the module makes available to others. It also imports functions from other modules. Please stop the video and read the expressions carefully and try to recognize the transformations. The source files are available on GitHub, if you would like to play with them. At the beginning, do not try to combine too many things, just go step by step. I think T1 is one of the most important transformations. If you want to write composition in reverse order, we could use this imported operator. Let's see its definition in Google. We can see it in the main that with the help of the dollar operator we can get rid of the parentheses, but it is not the only reason why it is useful. We could express the fact of the function application explicitly, and with the help of it we could pass an argument to a list of functions. You can see this usage here at the transformations. In the previous video we were discussing about the importance of the order of the function parameters. Because dollar operator is not commutative, if we want to apply it partially, we have to flip the parameters in these cases, or we could use another operator instead. Be careful with the precedences.
please spend a little time with these examples and if you are interested in, watch my next videos also, where I will show you how to use these things to write programs. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.